Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This episode, I'd like to talk about two related fruits of the Spirit, patience and self-control. Most people understand at least some of what patience is, the willingness to bear difficulties, delays, or sufferings for a long period of time in order to achieve a desired outcome. For example, being patient with a slow learner in order to teach him the subject well. In fact, the old English word usually used to mean patience was long-suffering. However, patience doesn't mean that a person is willing to just let things pass that are unacceptable. For example, if you knew a murder was about to take place next door and you didn't call the police, saying to yourself, oh well, I just need to wait for these things to work themselves out, well that's not patience, that's sloth. In the same way, a person can react very quickly and even harshly to injustice, and that doesn't prove that they weren't patient. Patience has nothing to do with how harsh or nice a person is. The best way to determine whether a person is being patient or lazy is this. Could they reasonably expect to achieve a better outcome by waiting and bearing difficulties than they could by taking action? If the answer is yes, then it's patience. Patience may be one of the most important fruits of the Spirit, because waiting for the Lord to fulfill His promises and bring about the perfect kingdom that He promised requires the greatest patience of them all. In fact, and I mean this only very loosely, it doesn't really matter what else motivates you as long as you realize that God's kingdom will be perfect and are patient enough to prioritize it over the things of this life. All sin comes from caring more about the things of this world than we do about heavenly rewards. So really, all you have to do is convince yourself that heavenly rewards are worth the sacrifice, then fortify yourself with patience, and that's the ball game. From that point on, no matter what else you may want, your motives are all set. Of course, to really make it through this life, you need more than just patience. You also need the ability to control your own actions. Otherwise, your motives really won't make much difference, will they? This is what self-control is for. Now, having self-control doesn't mean you're emotionless and dull. It also doesn't mean that you never get to have any fun because you're too busy controlling every little thing you say, think, and do. Still, I really can't think of any instance where I'd want to be unable to control my own actions, and deep down, I don't think anybody else could either. Sure, there's times when we want revenge, or pleasures, or some kind of forbidden satisfaction that can only be gotten by sinning, but the problem with any kind of sin is that it makes it much harder for us to resist temptation in the future. We become more inclined to sin again, and it gets harder and harder to control ourselves. Nobody really wants that. No matter how much we may want the pleasures and satisfactions gained through sinning, we don't want to lose control, and that's what sin does to us. The ability to control ourselves is one of the most important and rewarding fruits of the Spirit. We don't need to feel as afraid of the world if we know we're in control of how we react to it. When we get down to it, we're always at our weakest when we don't have self-control. As it says in the book of Proverbs, An open town, and without defenses, such is anyone who lacks self-control. Proverbs 25:28. Even very evil people who do horrible things to their fellow man want self-control. The hard part, however, is that some people go for so long without trying to do the right thing that they don't even realize how little self-control they have. If they really spend some time trying to do right by their fellow man or live without a few of the things they enjoy for a week or two, I think they'd have a very hard time. That's the state of affairs that comes from a lack of self-control. If you've got the patience to wait for the rewards that God offers, and the self-control to follow through on that, you've more than halfway won the battle of virtue. But these two fruits of the Spirit are only the bare essentials. That's why next time we'll be talking about gentleness. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.